everyone. Sorry for it being a long time since the last video, but I've been dedicating every single clear night I've had to a uh, big Bodes and Cigar Galaxy photo like project I've been working on since like December now. Um, but them galaxies no longer actually rise above the house uh, at any point in the night. So I'm gonna have to wait until later on in the year to finish that project off. So I'm starting another one tonight on the Cave Nebula. So yeah, hope you enjoy. Okay, so tonight my setup is the ASI 183MC Pro on the back, cooled to minus 10. I've got an Optolong L Extreme in that filter drill there. Uh, a Redcap 51 telescope and a 30mm F4 ZWO guide scope with an ASI 120mm mini guide camera. Um, I've got a Mealy Quieter uh, mini PC which is running Nina PHD2 and Green Swamp Server, which is controlling the mount, which is a Star Adventure GTI. Um, so I'm doing five minute exposures tonight, gain 111, offset eight. Um, and yeah, at minus 10, like I said before. So I'm hoping to be able to get at least a couple hours of, of data tonight. And I'm not really sure how bright this target is, but that might be enough, might not be, might need another night, but yeah, we'll find out. Okay, the first exposure has come up. I've had a little bit of an issue because some clouds have just like teleported in. I don't even know when they arrived because like one second I looked, it was clear. Next second, absolutely clouded over. So this sub is probably I don't know, like 70% uh, through clouds. You can see, you can still see the cave nebula though there a little bit, which is pretty impressive. And I don't know how, but the guide has kept me relatively stable. It's not really enjoying shooting through clouds for the guider, but the stars are still somehow like almost round. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to wait for these clouds to pass which hopefully they do do. So if they don't, then I'm gonna have to pack up and go inside. So fingers crossed I go away. All right, the clouds have cleared. So I've got another five minutes of going and I'm hoping this one's not gonna get ruined. There's still like a few clouds dotted about all over the sky, um, but none in the area that I'm shooting at the moment. So fingers crossed it stays like that. Uh, I took flats and dark flats in the in the time when I had the cloud, clouds covering the entire sky. So they're done now. Um, so yeah, hopefully this sub goes well. I'll see you in three minutes 30. Okay, the clouds have come back again. Uh, they're covering pretty much the whole sky again. You can see them going past in PhD too. Not really sure how well you can see that, but it's pretty clear like sitting here that they're there um especially if i just look straight up that's another way of doing it uh yeah I, i've got this um second exposures coming it looks a bit better than the first one uh slightly more time where it was actual sky i was gathering instead of clouds but i still reckon there was at least half of that exposure was like containing clouds so it's not going to be the highest quality stuff. Yeah, you, you can still see the nebula, so I'm hoping because it's that bright, I'm not going to need that much exposure to actually get a photo out of this. Hopefully, only maybe I don't know, two, three, four hours, maybe. Uh, yeah, th these clouds aren't showing any signs of going away, so I'm thinking I'm just going to have to pack up. Uh, and unfortunately, because it's a school week this week, I'm not going to be able to shoot until at least Friday night. So yeah, fingers crossed to get a clear night on the weekend. If not, it'll be some other clear night in the future, but see you then. All right, it's now just 
around a week later, I think. But it's finally meant to be clear again. Uh, there's a few clouds at the moment. I think you can see them on there. Um, but they're meant to go away soon, so fingers crossed they do. And looks like I'm going to have a good maybe uh, three, up to maybe three and a half hours of time that I can shoot. Uh, so I'll try and finish my cave nebula photo. Or oh, I don't know if I'll finish it because I'm not really sure how much data I'm going to need. But yeah, I'll do my best to get as much as I can. So yeah, I'll update you in a bit. Alright, I've slewed over to Vega and put the baton off mask on. And you can see I'm not quite in focus. Um, but that's just a tiny adjustment I need to make. So I'll go do that now. And I'll show you what it looks like when I'm actually in focus. Right, there we go. Properly in focus. It's still a bit light out here, so I'm probably going to go take flats now. Uh, just to save me a job for later on when I'm packing up, because... I'm going to be quite tired by then, I'm hoping, because that'll mean I've had a nice long night of imaging. Yeah, it's looking good at the moment. So I'll go take flats, then I'll hopefully get to shooting. I've got the flats shooting. I'm doing 30 flats and 30 dark flats as well. Um, yeah, I don't use a flat panel or anything. I've just got a, just an iPhone with a white screen set on top. And that works just fine, so there's, there's not really any need to waste money on a flat panel. Nearly halfway done with the normal flats, so I'll have to put the lens cap on in a minute for the dark flats. So yeah, see you after I've done that. Okay, I've got the cave nebula loaded up in the framing wizard, so I'm going to slow over to it now. And the scope goes. Okay, it's made it there, it's just going to do some final adjustments just to get me perfectly framed to how I want it. Um, and then I think I'm going to recalibrate the guider because I haven't done that in probably weeks, maybe even months now. Especially because I think the last time I calibrated it I was under Bodes and Cigar, which is quite close to the North Celestial Pole. So it's not going to be the most accurate calibration I could have got. So yeah, I could do with getting a new one just to make sure my guide is stable tonight. Alright, Nina reckons I'm framed up perfectly now, so I'm going to go over to PHE2. Yeah, do that to pick a star. Yeah, that'll do. And just press calibrate. Gonna run through all of these um, steps now. It usually takes about maybe three to five minutes. So after I've done that, I'll see if the skies are looking dark enough to start shooting. And if they are, I'll show you when that happens. Okay, go I just finished calibrating and I've got my first exposures coming. God is working perfect. I've got 0.8 arc seconds of error and it's still dropping that, which is way better than it needed to be. And even though it's not fully dark yet, you can just about see the cave in there. This little red blob here. And then there's also a big gas cloud that I've framed up down here. And that looks like a star cluster. I'm not 100% sure what that is though. Um, so yeah, I'll hopefully have a good photo to show in a bit. I'll update you later. All right, it's now about 20 past three, um, and miraculously, I had the, the whole night um, stay completely free of clouds. So I've hopefully got at least three and a half hours of data. And yeah, the, the sun's now coming up. You can see the sky's gone really bright behind me. Uh, and the, the moon's really bright up there as well. So yeah, I've got the cameras just warming up. Um, I've parked the scope, and I'm gonna go pack it up, go inside and try and get to sleep. Hopefully I'll be able to get a good photo. If not, I'll yeah have to add another night's data to this, but I think I might have got enough. So yeah, see you inside. Right, it's the next day now. I've sorted through all the subs. I got three and a half hours or a little bit more before the sun started rising and ruining them. Uh, and I've stacked it. It's there on the screen next to me. Just uh, STF applied. That's all I've done to that. Um, and it's looking really good, so I should be able to get a nice photo out of this. And I'll put it on the screen in a minute. So I hope you like it. Thanks for watching, and I wish you all clear skies.